Hey, just wanted to talk about that last verse for a second. Again, a little bit, real quick here. Look, uh, only Christ is worthy to break that seal that Satan has put over you by your flesh and all the desires of it and the things of this world. You know, money and all the things that it'll do that you can buy with it. Houses, homes, food, sex, your own little kingdom here, right? He keeps you deceived by keeping your mind at disease by all the things that are going on around the world, right? And only Christ is worthy to break through that seal with the gift of his Holy Spirit, by the gift of his Holy Spirit. And then he heals your blindness, your deafness. You can hear him. You can see spiritual things. You can see it all around you and everything, everything. He permeates everything. That's why it glorifies God. This world that is fallen actually glorifies God. It it, 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 it does. It, it, it <laughs> In so many ways, in so many ways, because you can see and detest evil, right? And you can see good as well. It, it really glorifies God. Uh, and, and it shows how in complete control he is of everything. But we have been given free will, free will. Uh, and you have to make a decision right now where where you want to belong. Do, do you love God? Do you want to go home? Or do you dread going home and seeing Christ? Do you dread seeing your creator and going home to him? then you might be left behind. Straight up, you might be left behind if that's the case. Um, or do you love him so much and and you just know in your heart by being born again of the Spirit how loving he is and just have complete faith and trust and look forward to going home and can't wait to go home. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'm looking forward to it. But I know we all have a job and a duty here to fulfill. Uh, the spiritual is being played out in this physical world, no doubt about it. Um, but that verse I went over, it said there's a reversal and there's a war coming. Could there be a reversal that causes a military attack? It says there's a military attack. And think about that one. I'm not going to go into it, but think about that one. Could there be some type of reversal <laughs> that causes actually a military attack? Are we surrounded by the dragon? By the dragon, possibly. Understand these words. Understand these words. Prepare your heart and mind for a battle. That's what that verse said. Uh, our, our, redre <laughs> our redemption draws nigh, no doubt about it. <laughs> Sometimes my mouth doesn't connect with my brain. <laughs> I'm kind of punchy, and I know the reason for it. It happens occasionally, and it's, it's not really a disease or anything, but it's being stupid when I was young. I'm a small guy, so I had to learn how to defend myself, do a lot of things. So, I was involved with a lot of rough sports, put it that way. Um, a lot of head knocks. <laughs> All right, so anyways, there's that. All right, love and respect, everybody. Uh, let's finish this race strong. We're about to go home. And uh, I think this verse is clearly laying out something because the spiritual is being played out in the physical. And uh, he said to gird yourself up, prepare for... An attack by a reversal there's a reversal that's gonna occur and could that mean you know only he knows he already knows I mean it could mean multiple things but what's happening today <laughs> all right God bless have a great day bye